Hi, yeah, uh, a Cora warning. This is cringy. Please don't make fun of me for this in the future or anything. Um, I just tried my best. This is, this is the way I make videos. So, I hope you guys learned something. Um, you don't need it, and you do need to take notes, I guess. But, yeah, just don't make fun of me. That's all I'm begging for. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Welcome to... American history with coral. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what I'm putting into this, but whatever. Hello, class. My name is Miss Susie, and I hey, aren't you a student? Do you think that matters right now? Oh! Anyway, today we're learning about General Von Stupid. Yes, I am talking about this man right here, and it clearly says Germany, but I don't know why I didn't think that first. And I clicked the wrong link on the Wikipedia article, but we're not even allowed to use Wikipedia, I don't think so. I don't even know why I clicked that, but it was so. <laughs> Alright, so he was French, I think. <laughs> that is right, our King Von Stupid is German and not French. I thought he was because Von Stupid, but like, I don't know, I think that's just a stereotype. All right, kids, so this man, he was German, but he spent most of his- Excuse me, excuse me, he spent most of his life in Russia with his father. Do you want to just teach the class or something? Yeah, I'll teach the class. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Bye-bye. <laughs> My job's over. Oh. <laughs> okay, anyway. Okay, enough with the chit-chat and crappy stuff. I want to get to the real stuff. So he spent most of his life in Russia with his father, and he returned to Germany at age of 10, I think, um, so he could start schooling. Formally, from the article that I read it from. That's the only place that I found it, so it's probably not true, but does that matter? No. Anyway. Okay, I had to write this down because I couldn't get to- I couldn't open up my computer, so I had to use Wikipedia, not Wikipedia, Google. So, at age 17, von Steuben enlisted in the Prussian army as a lance corporal. A lance corporal is a military rank ranked above for his class. Basically, a combat leader to, like, I don't know, for his, like, team, my first team, I guess. I don't know, I wrote it down because I don't- I know I wouldn't be able to remember lance corporal. Okay, anyway, so- now he was a lieutenant for- he was a, a second lieutenant until the seven year war came, aka the war that went on for nine years, I think. Mr. Wolf, I don't think you lied to us, but like, I don't know. Why does it say that it went on for seven? Can you tell me, please? And he was discharged from the Prussian army on April 29th, which is actually my birthday, in 1763, shortly after the treaties of Paris and Hertzberg? I don't- Hubertusburg. Okay. Until those two things, they ended the war. I mean, ended or started a war. I don't even know. Also during that year, von Steuben met Louis Saint Germain, I think. Frenchman Louis de Saint Germain. He met them in that same year that happened. 1763, by the way. So he went to the Revolutionary War. So here's a helpful partner. It's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. Put in the work, put in the hours, and take what's ours. I'm going to have a bot read this since I'm in a non-quiet space. In 1771, von Steuben was earned the title Baron from the Prince of Holland's Allern, Hachungen. During the bad times of the war, George Washington had called Steuben to help with the cause. When he was in America training soldiers he would put them in pairs to teach them to fight the enemies. But when his accent got in the way and the soldiers couldn't understand him, he'd throw a fit and swear at the troops. First in German, then in French. Then he'd call his translators to scream at them in English for him. Y'all know this man? Yes so Benjamin Franklin recommended Steuben to George Washington and obviously it was a good recommendation because Steuben really helped during the war. Also did you know this man was gay? He was openly homosexual and obviously it was a bad idea to be fruity tooty but I guess nobody cared that he was gay and he was still a great soldier. Gay pride pride gel gay and slay. Also the article says and I quote, Von Steuben didn't just throw, insert a bit of an inappropriate word, charged parties. He also formed intense relationships with other men. He became close to William North and Benjamin Walker, aides de camp who seemed to have been involved in their own romantic relationship, and lived with them for two years in camp. It's likely that von Steuben became romantically involved with North. 
though it's not clear how close he was to Walker. Does this mean he was also in a homopolyamorous relationship? Anyway, Steuben had earned himself a good title of being a hero in the army. He taught the Americans techniques from Prussia that are still used today. He had become one of Washington's most trusted advisors. And when the war ended, he gained U.S. citizenship and moved to New York with his quote-unquote lovers. We love him North Road, and he deserves it for he loves us tenderly. A.W.H. How cute. No, honey. Wait what the heck? He adopted North and Walker which was normal. Those are his boyfriends. Anyway, they had lived together and managed his finances and inherited his home too. Wait, but who got his library? Wait what the heck? When he died another one of his lovers inherited his library and some money. Ugh, this man is a player. But he played good during the Revolutionary War. So that is Baron von Steuben. A non-French general who is really not well known. But we should make him known. Share his name. Tell some facts. I love you. Bye. Hi. I really hope you guys actually learned something. Um, Baron von Steuben, he is one of America's very openly early homosexual um figures and i know this was really cringy but i really hope that you guys learn something that's the point this is the way that i connect with um topics i guess i don't know